So we just had the uh, Queen's speech earlier today, um, I have, and I was fortunate enough to actually be in the Royal Gallery. I mean, it was—I didn't quite know what to expect. It's the first time I've been in the Royal Gallery. It might actually be the last because it's quite hard to get tickets for it. But it was pretty extraordinary, really. You know, the pomp and the circumstance, and uh, you know, being really that close to uh, Prince—you know, Prince Charles as he was walking in and Prince William—it was quite something. Obviously, very sad, you know, not to see the Queen there. Uh, first time, I think, in about 60 years, she wasn't there. I really hope that when it comes to the Platinum Jubilee celebration, uh, we, we can see as much of her as possible. Um, in terms of the Queen's speech generally, there's, um, there's quite a bit in it. Um, I think we're going to learn a bit more over the next few days. Um, I think the Prime Minister was right to put cost of living at the centre of it, you know, having knocked on thousands of doors over the last few weeks. That is the thing that I'm most concerned about. Uh, so the government had done some things to help, but I'll be looking for more steps uh, to help very strongly to get by at the moment. And I think the government needs to provide as much help as soon as possible to help people get in by. So I look forward to hearing more on that. But in terms of some of the other measures, personally, replacing the Human Rights Act with the British Bill of Rights, I think is a right thing to do. I think the current human rights laws have made it very difficult for us to, to do things like controlling our borders, deport, deport uh, criminals. Uh, who have uh, broken the law in our country. So I think having a British Bill of Rights, which of course respects people's rights, but does so in, in a way that has a healthy balance towards an elected government and, and the courts, I think is, is a move in the right direction. The Public Order Bill, I was very interested with, and I've already posted about them on social media, we all would have seen over the last few weeks the absolute chaos caused by you know, eco, uh, eco warriors who have really you know, meant it so a lot of us haven't been able to get petrol. It's contributed towards the price of petrol going up. Uh, it's caused chaos for many. And I'm sick of seeing these self-righteous, selfish individuals, you know, acting recklessly uh, and disrupting the lives of a law-abiding majority. So look, if, you ch if you decide to chain yourself to a lamppost, chain yourself to, to, to a petrol station, you should be immediately removed. We shouldn't see police officers hanging around for 24 hours, and I'm hopeful that this bill will get us to that place. Climate change is vitally important, but we cannot tolerate this kind of behaviour. We've got to be intolerant towards it. Uh, so those are a few of the things in the Green Speech. Some other things that are less eye-catching, but also significant. I'm looking to make a speech on Thursday about it, and I'll say more then.